Hello everyone, and welcome to the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. In this episode, we will learn how to drive a vehicle and explore real-time scheduling. Sometimes, it might be necessary to send out extra vehicles when passenger demand is high, such as during special events, or maybe it is just fun to roleplay a driver. To do this, let's find the driver key from the inventory. Next, let's open up the dashboard and find a siding. We will need to specify this siding as drivable so that the vehicle will be controllable. It is very important to make sure that the depot has a valid path generated or else the vehicle will not move. We can also configure a maximum speed limit for the vehicle. If we abandon the vehicle while driving, the vehicle will be switched to automatic mode according to the drivable timeout period specified here. Let's set that to 5 seconds as an example. Finally, we can board the vehicle while holding the driver key item. A status bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. B stands for brake, N stands for neutral, and P stands for power. Use the up and down arrow keys to select a different power or brake level. When approaching a platform or a block signal section, the vehicle will automatically brake and come to a stop. When the vehicle is stopped, use the left arrow key to open and close the doors. When the doors are open, the vehicle is forced to the B2 setting. Similarly, when the vehicle is moving, the doors cannot be open for safety reasons. Let's try leaving for a little while. Since we set the drivable timeout to only 5 seconds, the vehicle will revert to automatic mode after that time. Now, let's run back while holding the driver key. We can regain control of the vehicle again. Next, let's take a look at real-time scheduling. Give this video a like and subscribe if you love the new feature so far. If you haven't done so already, consider supporting me on Patreon and get special benefits. In the depot edit screen, click on the button at the top to switch between the sliders and real-time departures. For this example, I will put in 10, 24, and 0 seconds, and 10, 24, and 30 seconds. At those times, the vehicle will depart. As an example, if we want the vehicle to depart at 7 a.m. and add 6 more departures 10 minutes apart, we can type 7 a.m. plus 6 times 10 minutes. These departures have now been added to the list. To help with realistic scheduling, we can install a mod called Time and Wind that changes the speed of the Minecraft Daylight Cycle. I have put the link to this mod in the description below. In the Dashboard Options page, we can enable the Automatically Sync Time using the Time and Win mod option, which keeps our world time synced with real time. If we look at the clock, we can see that the time matches our local time. Keep in mind that when playing in multiplayer, the time will always be synced with the server's time zone. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. Today, we learn how to drive a vehicle and set up real-time schedules. If you have been watching my Let's Play series, stay tuned for the Season 1 finale, which is coming soon. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and interest in the mod, and I'll see you in the next video.